and we are back with another day in the market largely flat up 0.02 percent and today we're going to be talking about some hot takers that are all the buzz right now first of all we have amc then we have meta facebook who just reported earnings and then i'm actually going to give you at the end of giving some analysis on those two stocks a stock ticker that I actually entered in a position today. Um, a little key hint, it's a long position, not a short position. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to stick around at the end of this video. And if you do provide, if you do see value in this video and you think I am providing value to you, please hit the like button. It is the easiest and best actually way that you can help out the channel. I'd rather actually have a like than a subscribe, but subscription is important as well because that means that you like my content. So let's just get right into it for right now. Nothing different on the S&P 500. It pretty much was flat. We are still in a bullish uptrend. We are above the seven moving average, uh, which is a simple period or simple moving average, the seven period moving average. And then we have the 25 period exponential moving average. We have this Heikinashi or HA market bias indicator. One thing I love about it is it can bounce in, it can go in and it can actually go above it, but still show the overall trend, which is very different than what a lot of the moving averages can provide. Uh, if we just zoom in really quick, we're still bullish on the MACD. And you can see as well, we are still bullish on the RSI, although we are approaching overbought levels so let's get right into first of all let's get into amc and you can see amc right now they actually had a pretty big uh day the other day they're down one percent uh right now but it was a pretty big buzz off of um news that they weren't going to dilute share so they actually started we can zoom down to get a little bit more accurate let's go to the one hour uh, it opened up a couple days ago, or actually post-market. It went from 442, reached a high of 877, which is just crazy if you were able to catch that move. And we started to go back down, and we are, for the most part, pretty much um, back to previous levels. And if you were to have gotten in any time, uh, pretty much any time, even on this candle, any time past right about here, about the 508 level, you would be in the red. Uh, so let's zoom back out because I actually wanna show you something on AMC that is gonna be pretty valuable to you. So how do you tell the difference between something, a spike like this, or this right here, or this right here, this right here? How do you know the difference of whether that's gonna hold compared to even something like that right there, that right there, compared to spikes like this guy right here um and this is auto so we're gonna put that over and even a spike like that where you just saw a couple of days of opportunity really um although that was kind of a little overbought you can tell right there on the rsi but spike like this spike like this that kind of had some holding value and actually increased over time if you were to hold on and the the uh, key difference is we are under the market bias indicator right here which we are currently under and before when we had those huge GameStop, amc bbby uh bbig all of those we were above that uh, market bias indicator which is this green line right here uh so you can see back in 2021 that's when all of that started and then it really gained mainstream popularity right around here. Actually, there was a second wind. I think that's what that was. Um, held its position and then has done absolutely nothing uh, for quite some, quite a while, which is understood because the market was in a bear market. So that is one thing. If you're looking for these high um, volatility plays, look at where the market bias indicator is. It's free to use on TradingView. Now let's bring up Meta real quick because Meta just had earnings um, and they bowed pretty well. Uh, let's just pull this up real quick. They had a surprise of 2.43%. And then in revenue, they had a surprise of 2.96%. Now, if you look right now, it doesn't look like anything is too crazy. Well, it was because it reported 
uh, meta reported after hours. So let's go to the four hour and you can see this is post uh, market right here. This is after market and it is spiked up. So is meta a buy um, to go long? Well, we don't technically have a cross of the MACD line over the zero line for the go signal. It's pretty down, darn close. Um, but you technically don't have that right now. So technically, no, although you're pretty close and the closer you are to an entry signal, the more okay it is to take if I were to put it um, a certain way. So just watch it. And you know, what's really nice is if we go down to the one hour, the really nice thing about holding on and just really actually waiting for that signal is because you can see if this is going to come back down. If this comes back down, the MACD line most likely will not actually give you a buy signal. Okay. So that's one thing to watch for um, if this is going to hold or not. Kind of like how AMC just didn't hold. Um, so let's go back to the daily. And now we're going to give you my trade alert. I used a uh, stock scanner for this one to find and it allowed me to find it now full disclosure I know n absolutely nothing about this company um, I am just trading it but I did enter a long position um, because that's what the technicals are showing me so there's a little s scariness in the market right now because of all of the fed thing and are we at the top are we finally going to be going down because if you look at again look at meta microsoft apple um unbelievable i mean this has to breathe eventually right so is it going to breathe now do you want to get into a long right now um so i'm just going to follow the technicals if the technicals change they change so let's zoom in and let's show let's see what the technicals are we are above the market bias indicator, which is the first thing you want to look for for going long. We have, if we get rid of this price action real quick, just so we can show you, technically we have the, um, it's going to be hard for you to see, but we have the blue uh, moving average above the yellow moving average, which is good. And then we, let's put that back on for a second. Um, this triangle right here is actually just marking the MACD when it crosses the zero line. It's something I created for myself so I can um, easily see when that actually occurs. Um, and that is a, a buy signal. It's a bullish signal for the MACD. And you can see that it is confirmed right here. And if you bring up the RSI, we are above the zero line, which is showing bullish uh, sentiment. And we are currently, we're pretty decently away from this a uh, simple moving average that marks the RSI, but we are using it as support because we're going down, up, down, up, down, up, and we are above it the whole way. So that is AMC, that is Meta, that is MU. Uh, AMC is an entertainment company. Meta is a tech company, I guess. And MU, I have no freaking idea. So <laughs> with that said, if you like this content and you wanna see more, please just hit the like button hit the subscription bell, hit the notification bell so you can see all of my latest content and all of my uh, alerts. Until then, we'll see you next time. Thank you.